Would you date him? Hell no. Why? Because he's fat. <laughs> he's not fat, but for your information, at least he can lose the weight. You can't lose the ugly. Perfect. You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? Smash or pass? Smash. Smash? You can hit it any day you want. Any day, she's smashing. Any day. Many months later. Look, I have a kid. I used to be like that. And that's being an IWWDNNM. What? An independent woman who don't need no man. Until I had my kid. Now that I have my kid, like, I might be this, oh, I'm a boss bitch, da, da, da. But uh, deep down in my heart, I would do absolutely anything to be at home and be, like, always with my child. There you go. But unfortunately, and I And have can't. a man protect you. Stop acting like, st stop leaving out the man part. Right. Yeah. Because for you to be home with your child, that means you got a man exactly. holding him down. Yeah. And, protecting and, you. and that's what I'm saying. Like, he's right. And that shit's hard, like... But unfortunately, since I'm by myself, I gotta hustle, you know? Yeah. But I would do anything to have a man. Remember this, gentlemen. A woman will never cry for all the bad actions she has done. But a woman will always cry for the consequences she has to pay. Why do women act like this? Bill Burr, can you come preach to the gospel? Women are just constantly patting themselves on the back. <laughs> about how difficult their lives are and no one corrects them because they want to f*** them. Now, according to the book of the cheek-slaying Shakespearean, it states, if I had a piece of bread for all the times women acted delusional in the head, then I'll have enough to make sure all the kids in Africa are fed. Now, gentlemen, as a single mother, you cannot play hard to get when you are already hard to want. Um, yeah, I'm not going anywhere in pain, like the fuck. Yeah, no, I'll but I'm asking, he, he, he's, he's, you got like 40, $50 plate place, or you got like $150 plate place. Definitely he's gonna be judged, because for one, I'm gonna ask you where we're meeting first. So if he's like tap 42, I'm gonna be like, um, eh. Nope, eh. that's a good spot though. It's like, good if I'm going by myself, home, but for a first date, like, Mm, but he nah. don't know you like that. He gonna, you know, beat the scene. If and he's see trying to up. get to know me, nah, nah, we need to go somewhere like five star. Like five star. A wise man once said, "A single mother does not want to build with you; she only wants to move in." Now, according to the book of the booty butt cheeks section, Thalidians, it states, "A gold digger and a single mother." This girl has more red flags than the Chinese Communist Parade. She is nothing but a big fat grenade. <laughs> like we got grenades, man. Do you know we're in, in mist of grenades right now? Do you know we're we're in the we're at the zoo? <laughs> Somewhere nice. Like where? Like um. Komodo? Komodo's nice. Wow. Um, nice, nice places. <laughs> I don't know. The million dollar question that I have for you ladies is that how do these women get less attractive but the entitlement and demands keep increasing? This girl is out here making demands. Like her face does not look like a piece of melted butter. Oh, he no. needs some milk. This girl has slept with so many dudes that she is starting to look like one. God, this girl is so busted that when she tried casting for Alien vs. Predators, she was hired on the spot, no questions asked. You're one ugly motherfucker. But Holy it's like shit, I like inner. to I like to treat myself to stuff like that regularly. So if you can't match energy, it's like I can just go by myself. Yeah, okay. But you said if you go by yourself, you go to tap forty two. So I will go to energy. tap forty two by myself. But he's matching energy though. No, 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 contradiction. No, 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 no. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> yeah, I just pay attention, man. No, but stupid. it's like if you're really trying to like keep my attention and get it, like no, we're not going to Red Lobster, bro. Like no. <laughs> How? This dumb motherfucker said what? 
Man, she can switch it. Up, man, the reframe was strong in that one. Hold on, no cheese biscuits. Okay, what if? Well, okay, <laughs> cheese biscuits. That's, that's, fire, that's what, bro. Uh, just to add to it real fast. What if you actually find a guy attractive though? Like, does mm. it matter where he takes you? Yes. Oh, like, it still matters. It still matters. He's attractive. He got his shit together. All that. He he likes to have forty two because he got his good good food. I like to have forty two too, but for the first date, it's like you gotta set the tone. Fuck off, you! You fat, useless sack of fucking Yankee Danky doodle shit. Looking like that, and she expects a five course meal on the first date. Stop it. Maybe a Jack and a Crack drive through. The best I can do for this girl is give her a packet of top ramen and she has to bring her own hot water and that's me being extremely generous guys this girl is so busted and ugly that her mama had to feed her with a slingshot <laughs> now may we resurrect mr kevin samuels from the undead and may he rise from his grave at the undertaker the godfather the cream gobbler executionist. Your presence is very much missed. Now, may you please come down and bless us with the gospel. I'm a 37 year old woman and I've been celibate for two years. What? I've been celibate for two years. Where did that come from? Is I'm wanna know, is that the reason why? Mm -mm. What's the what's the philosophy here? You're not a virgin. You got two people came out of you. What, what what's, what's Ooh, going on? Oh, that's oh no, you did not. Oh no, you did not have the nerve to bring vagina out here and close it up at 37 years old with two kids out here. So you meet a man, a, a good guy. You think you're gonna be celibate for what? What? Till you marry? Yes. You got your goddamn mind. I wish I would meet a 37 year old with two kids and think you gonna shit. You're almost 40 years old with two kids. Talking about celibate, you need to be trying to get that shit away to secure a man. Whenever a girl says, imagine finding a guy who can solve all your financial problems without asking for sex. Sweetheart, his name is called employment. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding by the done, ding by the done. From my cheek slang analysis, after intensely studying and dissecting these two clips, I was able to come up with a conclusion. Now correct me if I'm wrong. As a woman gets older, her standards rises for three reasons. And I'll explain why after this clip. For me, if I don't have an emotional connection with you and I feel like you can't be an amazing father, not just to my daughter, but to my future kids and you don't have morals, you don't have beliefs that you stand by, that you actually stand by because a lot of people have a lot of beliefs and things that they say, but their actions are not aligning to their beliefs and their morals. And so for me, I'm dedicated to committing to myself so deeply that I will only commit to someone who is committed to themselves so deeply and is com committed to their family and their community and humanity as a whole and because those values align to mine man get the fuck out of here man please please get the fuck out of here man those morals and those beliefs align to mine and i think that in society again we're just stuck in that chasing after people who are not meant to be with you chasing after people Double. who don't deserve you because we have those insecurities we have abandonment issues you stuck up precious little bitch whenever you hear a girl say i'm not going to settle until i get what i want is usually normally followed by my dogs and my cats are my best friends. We have all of this shadow work that needs to be brought to light, but we're not dealing with it because it's so much easier to ignore it. This is the type of girl that will be crying over a guy that needs Wi-Fi access to reply back to her text. Now, gentlemen, single moms, and as a woman gets older in the dating market, her standards and demands rises for three reasons. Now, if we analyze this with our thoughtagon, Number one, the reason why a woman acts like this because she is compensating for her low self esteem. Because, as a single mother and as a woman who is getting older, 
She knows that she is becoming a depreciating asset in the sexual market value. She knows she's becoming a low hanging fruit and men are becoming scarce. And number two, she does this because she's trying to convince and persuade the world that she is just as valuable as her younger self. But that is a bunch of bullshit because a woman's value is based on her beauty, her looks and fertility. While a man's value is based on his financial status. That's why the, there's this RP quote that states, Women are born and men must become. And Aristotle once stated that a woman should get married at the age of 18 because this is the stage where a woman is the most beautifulest, the most fertile. While a man should get married at the age of 35 because at this age, this is the stage where a man starts to hit his financial strides. A woman at the age of 18 and the men at age 35, this is at the stage where they are both at their prime. And last but not least, number three, the reason why we see Butterface, single mothers, and older women act the way they act because at this stage in their lives, they are no longer looking for compatibility and values in a relationship. The relationships you have with them are not going to be genuine because their relationships are based on 1000% of a man's income. Because when these girls were in their 20s, they lacked the accountability and responsibility. I was in school and the like little library room was kind of like shut off, like no one went in there because like who the fuck goes to the library, you know? The whole basketball team. Did you get trained by a basketball team? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many guys? <laughs> 11. 11 guys? Isn't like the whole team or anything, but just like... That's the whole f roster. Now they are looking at you to clean up after their mess. And here is a prime example of it. Let's talk about the beautiful babies. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Bash, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have your new baby. Slash. Slash. Yes. So, so you have Bash and Slash. And Slash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. What the fuck? Is it just me or does Amber Rose look like Jung Tao from Rush Hour? B.I. No, I ain't F.B.I. I'm a security guard. I work at the mall. No, what? Amber Rose with her Jung Tao looking ass got her son's name tatted on her forehead because it's a resemblance on how men treat her. Slash, bash, and dash. They just dismantle the kitty and leave the city. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Moms are allowed to be sexy. We are allowed to still have fun. Our lives are not over because we have children. Right? Wrong. The biggest problems that Western culture face boils down to two simple reasons. Number one, bad parenting. Number two, adults refusing to grow up. Now, before I interject, launch, and drop some knowledge and some gems. I must get this off my chest. Amber Rose is out here looking like Sam Cassell. Amber Rose looks like Xerxes from 300. Now, when you have a kid, Amber Rose needs to understand is that it is never no longer about you. It is about the damn kid. This just shows the level of selfishness, narcissistic, the lack of accountability and responsibility. Now, I never seen Amber Rose as a parent by judging by this interview. If I were to give a letter grade on how Amber Rose is as a parent, A being an absolute immaculate parent, outstanding, and an F being an absolute catastrophe. I will give Amber Rose a G. G as in good Lord have mercy. G as in God awful. G as in glizzy gobbler. G as in good riddance and goodbye. See, what you guys need to understand is that single mothers are not the victims. The children are because the child has to pay the consequences 
for their poor mother's decision. I didn't think that people would think that I was good enough looking or that I would be like any good at anything because I was so inexperienced. Yeah. Um, but somehow I became number one in that. Yeah, field. that's a Great. that's a and you did that very fast. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I only did that for like four months of my life when I was 19. Four months. Or sorry, eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Um, so that whole experience, do you do you ever think, because you know everyone, you know, everyone has such a negative uh, view on that. Not everyone, but mm-hmm. a lot of people have this like perception of, you know, or when you have a kid or what are people going to think? Like what are, what is your kid going to think? Like all this kind of like, yeah. kind of like negative thoughts on that. So... <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen, but people are making memes and TikToks saying two things. How easy do you think the baby will come out? Perfect. 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 <laughs> I actually haven't seen any of that. I have yeah. it on TikTok. Though. Well, those are a majority of the comments, like on my Instagram, on my TikTok, on my Twitter, just saying stuff like that. And then also just like, I feel bad for the kid because your mom did Um, I have one thing to say to that. I feel bad for you. You clearly had a terrible mom who raised a son that talks like that to women. Hey bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. I feel bad for you. You clearly had a terrible mom who raised a son that talks like that to women. Look who's talking. Because of Lana Rhodes' poor decisions in life, Her child is going to suffer immensely from this. The kid is absolute defenseless. He is walking through life with a big roast me sign on his forehead. Literally, anything he says, anything he does, he can get roasted for absolutely nothing. The kid can be in class. He can be like, oh, professor, I couldn't finish my homework today. The professor be like, well... Was your mom's moaning a disruption and a distraction? You know you're failing English class, right? Well, perhaps your mother can convince me to raise it a whole letter grade. Perfect. And just because Lana Rhodes is his mother, I kid you not, Every single kid in that class is going to want to come over for sleepover nights. Even the kids that's not in his class. We're talking about the janitors, the principal, and even all the fathers at the parent-teacher conference. I mean, look at this kid. This kid already knows that he is a walking meme. So throughout the whole interview, he's squirming and trying to run away from his mother. And he's barely even one. This kid might be related to all of us. We just might be an uncle because Lana Rhodes' kid is a group project. A group project. Look around, look around you. Look at this, we created this. This didn't exist before we were here. Look around at the square, I promise you right now. We did this, doesn't matter what anybody says. I'm just joking guys, I can't be roasting the kid like that. I barely even know the kid, but I do know his mother. And I wish nothing but the best for him. Now, gentlemen, before I end this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to buy your very own Cheek Slaying Gospels, click here. Peace and blessings. Look up, them glasses built like a square. They make well, at least I can see you round-headed, smooth-faced-ass nigga. Boy, you got no details in your face. I got no details in my face. There's details everywhere. Details where, nigga? You look easy to draw. My heart. I. St-